This nation was founded by men of many nations and backgrounds. It was founded on the principle that all men are created equal and that the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. My name is Ivan Espinosa Madrigal. I am the Executive Director of the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights and Economic Justice. We are an organization founded in 1968 at the height of the civil rights movement at the request of President John F. Kennedy to take the civil rights struggle from the streets into the courtroom. I am so impressed with the fact that we have a, an organization that is still as committed to um, civil rights as it was in the beginning when the, the the committee was first formed. Here we are in 2016, still dealing with some of the same issues that we were dealing with in 1968 and prior to that. Without an agency such as the Lawyers Committee, um, we would have no um, avenue in terms of having support to help right some of these wrongs. We've had the first president of color, and here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, we've had our first black governor. There's a big responsibility of being the first. But the problem with that is that now people feel like, okay, the debt has been settled. And in no means has that debt been settled because we still see discrimination. As a recruit, a minority recruit, I just felt like I was, um, you know, being pointed out compared to my, uh, my colleagues, my, um, the white recruits. It was on a daily day basis. But I just felt like, again, so helpless. And this is why I came to the Lawyers Committee. Our work spans housing, education, employment, and voting rights. We also provide free legal services to small minority-owned businesses. We had the help of the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights, and we're very grateful because they help us to understand the system and the steps that we need to follow when it comes to uh, being an entrepreneur and register our business and make sure that we follow uh, the correct path in order to succeed. And little by little we're just growing with them. We are learning from scratch the right way and with the help of the lawyers committee for Definitely. civil rights and their advice justice <laughs> we are able to continue learning and to also give back to the community because we know that we can connect with other cultures with our product. We know that somebody's there backing us up all the way. So we are very thankful for the lawyer committee and their support. We do our work in partnership with Boston's prestigious law firms, dedicate time pro bono to representing our clients and advancing the civil rights movement. Frankly, I can't think of any better organization to help make sure that the United States really does find its way back to a society where equality for all, where justice for all, and where openness to all is a central part of our country's mission. The Lawyers Committee has been such an important part of that, and I think the Lawyers Committee will be an important part of that in the years ahead. We appreciate your support, and we invite you to join us in the trenches of social justice as we push forward the 21st century civil rights movement. <laughs>